Welcome to another video of TD Hacks. As you guys can see, I have some cool wear on right here. You can buy it by clicking this little icon, scroll down to UGC, boom, there you go. You have all the UGC items right here. So in this update, we have brought Medic and Slammer. Yes, a little 500 is intended, by the way. <laughs> But yes, Medic and Slammer are in gear now. Medic has been teased for quite some time and it is now officially in game. So this is Medic right here, levels 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 being the max one. This is Path 2, level 3, 4, and 5. Then we move on to Slammer right here, which has received pretty well reception on the TDX Twitter. Uh, base level, level 1, 2, 3, 4, and five just really love overall her design uh mr p did a great job on this and then path two level three four and five so at base level she does more of a swing attack but if you upgrade her to the slam attack she will begin to well slam her hammer and deal some uh pretty good splash damage right there of course placing out multiple of them is a good idea to have the most uh Effective is that crowd control, but top half goes for splash damage and there's grand slam with the ability well grand slam as you can see all these guys, you know <laughs> It just deleted them It deleted them I'll go ahead and set this the strongest do a slam attack and then yeah, there you go you, you you can microwave like that to do basically two slams at near once When she does her ability, she will let out a little scream Just like that but every time she swings her hammer, she will stun the enemy for a short amount of time. She will also apply burn damage as well, 750 damage. And yes, Slammer is stunning me, by the way, so shockers and smashes won't be a problem. Uh, so when she uses her ability, she will deal a lot of damage and, well, just make him very slow overall. Then there's Path 2, which if you max it out, it goes for an extremely long shock stun right there. As you can see, it's going to stun for 2.2 seconds, which is pretty good in order to stun lock some fellas a lot like that. She will also gain stealth detection on Path 2 level 3 right there. <laughs> All the marshes right there just died. Oh my god. Yeah, we were doing some pretty big damage just from Slammer alone. But yes, the stun does apply on bosses. Oh, we have a loose revive abomination. Medic, go. Medic does not attack. Be aware of that. Path 1 Max has one more range and also has the ability. And yes, Slammer can slow down bosses as well. Look at that. Insanely slow right there. Speaking of slowing down bosses, if you use a new Punk Buster ability, uh, it'll go ahead and stun the boss for 15 seconds. Look at this. He is gonna get stun locked like this. He cannot attack in this state. So this little power ability right here is a really nice one to have. Anyways, this tower isn't looking so good. Let's go ahead and place some medic in at and at base level he will begin healing. As you can see, the healing is increasing by a lot. And of course, the higher levels you go, the faster it will heal. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, your damage meant nothing to the medic here. Anyways, as soon as the tower gets damaged, uh, medic will begin healing it instantly. And if you want to heal the medic themselves, that's fine. You just get a two of them, and then there you go. He's going to go ahead and heal any tower within its range to be healed. Like you see, it just heals the closest tower available. Path 2 now gains the crits ability, which does triple damage for 12 seconds. So let's go ahead and use the crits and then and, and the DJ fire rate and we get 7,000 DPS with both these abilities on the golden juggernaut path too. As you can see, he's doing some insane damage. Let's, uh, it doesn't matter the flamethrower. It, it just gets overhealed by the medic. And just like that, Eradicator has been killed. But yes, just so you guys know, medic does not damage in any sort of stage at all. Bottom path goes for extremely long range while getting the crits ability, which well, buffs your tower's damage. There is level one of it, then there's level two. Level one only does 100% damage for five seconds, which is double damage. Level two does it for 12 seconds, and you get triple damage. On the on the top path, you get Uber level one, which makes your towers got it for 12 seconds, and max Uber makes it got it for 25 seconds. As you see, max path one has heal per second 635, while path two only has 260. So top path is better to make your tower survive longer, Bottom path is better for damage support while still healing. And of course, the range range is massive compared to top path. Anyways, a lot of towers about to get a uh, damage right here in a bit by the Apex Predator and his minions. Oh, he just one shot my medic. War crime! But yeah, as you can see, when they start getting damage here, they will be instantly healed. 
Oh my god, dude, they're dealing so much damage, which is simply not enough until he is to kill something like that. Okay, I'm gonna use God Mode right there. Yeah, there we go. Make some of our towers. Got her right there. Oh, yeah, there we go. Got her right there. I saved his ass. Yep, that laser beam did nothing to it. As you see, everything is getting damaged, but thankfully, we have so many medics here that they're not really that much of a problem. Oh, well, not really. Yo, he was got it still. He was, dude, his Uber just wore off and he was still got it. Right, we're going to Uber this guy right here and give him the crits charge as well. And there we go. DJ Billy, we're getting 7,000 DPS on him now. We're going to spam some more medic just to ensure he can't kill anything. Well, besides that attack, I can't, I can't do much on that. There we go. Got the crits activated on this one. I'm going to give it a DJ as well. 7,000 DPS just casually. An Apex Predator is going to come down to a halt. So usually in this state, when he dies, you know, this little bomb and things like that, uh, all your towers are going to die around him. Well, if you use an Uber right here, like I said before, Uber charge, well, he survives. He died because no Uber. And yeah, they get this cool little effect right here when they uh, get charged. They just glow red and things like that. Blue gets blue little healing VFX for the triple damage. Oh yeah, by the way, this is a new mask. See, it is pretty massive and uh placing on long range towers here isn't a bad idea you can see rail gunner covers almost half the map right here this is just insane range and actually you know, turret path too i mean look at this if we, if we go to the exact middle right here what the hell is this line of sight why is it getting blocked with this barrel or this pole yeah this game sucks like, like i was saying you place it right in the middle it basically covers the entire map for path to exilium turret you guys you guys want to see something funny See Rail Gunner here with 8,000 damage, crits it, 24,000 damage per shot is insane. Oh, I want to see if Punk Buster right here can, nope, didn't do it in time. Let's see about this one. There we go. And dude, he's not spawning because I stunned him. I stunned him. He's, he's not doing it. He's not doing it because I stunned him. <laughs> but yeah, take a look at his model. Love the way this came out. It's based on the... Uh, Nighthawk stealth stealth fighter jet looks really cool. Whee! And boom, dude! I just disabled his spawning ability because <laughs> I timed it correctly. But he will do it once out of state. Yeah, there you go. Anyways, yeah, Slammer is a really good tower. By the way, her range cannot be buffed because I would just be insanely OP. But I think Slammer is a great addition to Tartifus X as this is our first melee tower and well just has a lot of uh, usage. And yes, she does one shot these guys on a base level. I I'd be at a much slower fi fire rate. I would recommend going for corner paths like this and then going for the first two upgrades for that extra range and the faster reload time as well. This is just a really good. The top ones right here go for more damage, which is good too. It's nice to have that. But she will definitely need towers to catch any leaks. She's more of a support tower slash damage tower. Well, a tower like Golden Dragon is just pure, well, DPS. Man, she is so cool. And remember, only in TDX.